Let's talk about all of the viral and bacterial uh, infections which have, and other kinds of microbial infections which have been associated with ME and CFS. And I think the first one is Epstein-Barr, and we've covered that already quite exclusively. Epstein-Barr is an incubation uh, period of 40 days. You cannot have a epidemic disease in any uh, infectious agent unless it is less than five or six days. So this does not uh, occur. The other is uh, Borrelia. Borrelia is a real threat. Uh, Borrelia started uh, in Scotland and came to America, as far as I remember, uh, to Lyme uh, in Connecticut and infected the deer at that area and then slowly spread out and in the last uh, 50 years probably has spread throughout the United States and into parts of Canada. And so it actually does cause a chronic, chronic illness. Unfortunately, once again, there is a lab uh, in California who consistently gets a positive Borrelia reaction on their test. But it's the same line on their test, which is also common for a common strep virus. So it will show positive for, in many patients uh, for a strep uh, infection, which uh, someone may have had 10 or 20 years earlier and uh, is not causing them any trouble, but it comes back looking like Borrelia. But Borrelia is real, uh, it's causing real problem, and we don't know enough to treat it because one of the patients I have saw in the last seven days had definite Borrelia infection, had been treated, but for two weeks, and they said, well, we can't do any more. So how do you properly treat Borrelia is a real problem. It is a real, real uh, major illness, and it's one of the mimics of chronic fatigue syndrome. The various herpes viruses, and there's, I don't know how many, but there's at least six, maybe 12 uh, different uh, herpes viruses. Yeah, they can cause chronic infections in some people. Uh, in theory, they might cause chronic fatigue syndrome, but once again, uh, I have never seen it in investigating these patients for 30 years. The difficulty in understanding any viral infection uh, and its causes is largely related with the ability to recover a virus in acute illness and in chronic illness. And I think the best way to illustrate this is to discuss the problems with polio. Polio virus was first described, uh, or polio, uh, paralytic polio illness was first described very, very well by Dr. Ivor Wickman in 1907, as I've mentioned earlier. In December of 1907, two German scientists succeeded in grinding up the spine, uh, spinal cord of a young lad and passing it through a ceramic filter and taking that filtrator and injecting it into guinea pigs, rabbits, mice, and two monkeys. None of the animals fell ill except one of the two monkeys. And that monkey became paralyzed. And so they took that as definite proof that they had recovered the polio virus and transferred it to an animal that resembled a human, a hominid uh, type animal, and were actually able to cause polio. And they were correct. That was in 1907, December 1907. So what happened after that? People became really frightened because the epidemics grew larger and larger. And you had an epidemic in Brooklyn, New York, and I can't remember how many people fell ill in that. But you're looking at, I think, 20,000 people who fell ill. They weren't able to recover the viruses, even though they died, these people. And so it took them until 1932, during the epidemic, which was a mixed epidemic of polio and ME at the Los Angeles County General Hospital. And they took what they thought were recovered patients 
took their serum and injected it into 192 of the doctors and nurses so they would not get polio. Well, what it did was cause them to have ME. And so they didn't realize at that time that they had actually done the first human test on ME by injecting a virus into people and causing ME. In 1935, the first polio immunization came out, but it was based on the th mistaken theory that polio virus was caused by one virus. And they injected this into about 100 people and killed several people. Why? Because polio, and this is 1935, and remember that it was in 1907 that the first polio virus was uh, discovered, and doctors up to 1935 thought that there were only one polio virus causing death and destruction. Well, sometime around 1940, two Australian doctors said, no, we found another polio virus that can cause this. And the American doctors didn't believe him. And it was only in 1950s that Salk, with huge amount of money, was able to show that there were three types of polio virus causing epidemic poliomyelitis, paralytic polio, which killed and maimed people. And he invented, with a huge group uh, at Concordia, uh, a huge group of marvelous scientists, this amazing immunization in which they put the three viruses in, and it put a stop almost instantaneously to paralytic polio in the United States and rapidly, particularly after Sabin came out in 49, uh, uh, excuse me, was it 49 or 59, that they were able to put a stop to polio worldwide, but they made an error. And this year in Holland, uh, in Germany, in Denmark, in Canada, in the United States, a lot of kids have been paralyzed again who had polio immunization 7,000 people in China, to my, the best of my knowledge, also fell ill uh, at the same time as the uh, Olympics in uh, Shanghai with paralytic disease. What was it? Because it wasn't polio 1, 2, and 3. What it was, was the other enteroviruses. There were at least four or five other enteroviruses which are now causing paralytic uh, disease. So what my surmise is, is that you can stop ME dead in its track if you had put all of the enteroviruses into that immunization. And I think what is going to happen over the next 10 years is you're going to see more and more cases of paralytic uh, polio-like disease caused by the enteroviruses, which are beginning to come back and the doctors are going to get more and more money and they're going to invent a new polio immunization which covers not just polio 1, 2, and 3, but all the enteroviruses. And when that happens, I think you're going to be able to stop ME in its tracks. And that hasn't happened yet, but that will happen.